Oh, look. How are we doing? All right, let me just see if I can open it. Let's see what happens. No, it's going to make me sign in. And I don't necessarily. All right. All I can do is see it. So the only other, the other thing I could do. I, I can do one it. More, one more it. option is yep. to. I can pull it up on my laptop. I just was hoping not to do that. Let's see. There. I can see it, but I can't see you. So I have it with the notes. But I'm going to warn you, it's going to be it's coming in fiddly. Oh, here he is. OK, good. Yeah. OK, welcome, Dennis. <laughs> Hey. Technology is wonderful, except when it's not. Who knows what that was all about? But. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Well, I'm going to... Um, um, so, so, do we want to just... Before, let's just get Dennis up to speed. So, we're going right. to run through the PowerPoint. Um. And then we have to set, I want to make sure we save a good chunk of the meeting, preferably like maybe 20 minutes to talk about tabling and what's needed for that. Um, and first order of business right. is Dennis has to officially be voted in as chair. Oh, right. <laughs> Unless there's a competitor who wants the job, <laughs> then we can hold a vote. I nominate, that. I nominate Dennis. Oh, is my, okay. Yep. I second. All in favor. I guess so. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Dennis. Okay. So I'll go ahead and be chair. And I want to first just thank folks for the really good work they've done. And when Jan called me about what I'd be willing to, you know, serve as a chair that facilitates process, I said yes to people who have done such good process. Um, so this kind of facilitation of people who have really done the work, and I just get to kind of say, okay, how do I help, you know, facilitate that is an easy yes. So um, both the folks who have been doing the work, the group gathered here and Laura and some others um, and Danielle have done some really good work. So I support that notion of just kind of doing a, a run through walkthrough. I'm gonna try to open it again on my other device where I also tried to log in there so I can kind of track along a little better because I have a couple of comments that I wanna make when we get there, so. Um, Without further ado, I know the notion was that Devin um, was the one who had just hasn't just had dental work. Um, so oh no, that was me, Jan. You're I the mean, one. You're the one that hasn't. Devin, you're oh. the one that hasn't. All right. So, I have so not had dental work. <laughs> if you're ready to kind of you know run us through the presentation um, on a you know trial basis rehearsal, I say just go for it. All right, it's gonna be a little rough. And Danielle, on the PowerPoint version that I'm looking at, the commission is still spelled commission in the actual PowerPoint. So you Noted. might want and edit that. So, um, and just um, as a heads up, your changes in the Google Doc have not been tracked. So any changes you wanna make, let like, either do them as a comment or let me know because I the PowerPoint itself is where the cha the changes are going to live. Okay. okay. So yeah, I'm I have like the actual PowerPoint, not the Google open. Yeah. And it so right now that I re fix it, but that won't matter I'll to you. It, yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, and does somebody want to time me? Sure. That'd be good. Um, <clears throat> and it's probably going to be a little rough because I just skimmed over it um this latest version but we've seen it um many of us a few times before so i'm going to base it on the the notes and not just necessarily off the top of my head for sure right now <laughs> so let me know um should i just should i start yep go for it 
All right. Hello, everyone. Um, thank you for having me come to speak. My name is Devin Mann, and I'm a member of the Eugene Sustainability Commission. The Sustainability Commission was established through an ordinance to the city code in 2008. We're a group of community volunteers who have, who have been appointed by the Eugene City. Could we change that to appointed by the Eugene City Council instead of who have been appointed? Um, it's just a lot of words. Yep, I'll change that. Thanks. To advise on topics related to sustainability, I plan to give a very high level overview of the city's climate goals and climate action plan, as well as we what we can do as a community as community members to help reduce emissions that are contributing to climate change. All right, first, some definitions. In case you're not familiar, I want to cover a few terms. So the abbreviation that you'll see in this presentation, GHG stands for greenhouse gases. The most common greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide and methane. And you can see those um, on the slide here at 11 and 79%. Um, carbon, dinox carbon dioxide is the primary greenhouse gas responsible for human caused climate change and is released through burning fossil fuels for electricity for and for heat and transportation. Methane comes from waste, wastes in landfills. Can we have that be mm. mm -hmm. And many other things like animal farms, animal farms, <laughs> animal farms <laughs> and natural gas. Highlighting them. <laughs> um, Can it be agriculture? Yep. Thanks. Is that? I, I would put natural gas first and then agriculture. Yeah, I think that's, or like use of natural gas, like natural gas use. Yeah. Yeah, and we're gonna use farms. So you're proposing agriculture rather than farms because we're gonna use farm and suggest livestock. Than hmm. I, th I think it's, it's agriculture in general though. It's not just animal farms. It just is kind of a strange word. I know yeah. animal farm makes me think of animal farm. I think let's use agriculture. Let's use agriculture because that's what the graphic the slide is. says. Yeah. So that's a parallel. Yeah. Um, it's a very potent greenhouse gas, eighty times stronger than carbon dioxide over a twenty-year period. So it's a particular. It is a particularly important one to cut back on maybe it's just it's particularly important to cut back on okay. um, the release of greenhouse gas emissions into the atmosphere is what is contributing to climate change the best opportunity for us to reverse the impacts of climate change is by reducing our greenhouse gas emissions yes um the city of Eugene has taken bold steps to try to reduce local greenhouse gas emissions. 10 years ago, Eugene was one of the first cities in the nation to put fossil fuel and carbon emission reduction goals into city code. In 2014, city council established the climate recovery ordinance. This established goals to reduce our fossil fuel use by 50% by 2030 compared to our 2010 usage. Okay and to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by 7.6 annually. That's confusing. That's what they are, but we the way we've shortened it is um, just to this, this established goal is to reduce our fossil fuel use by 50% by 2030 and to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions by 7.6% annually. Let's do that, yeah, and get yeah. rid of that compared to our 2010 yeah. usage, because I don't yep. know how that is value add. <laughs> Well, that's like what the baseline is. So we have to, re like 2010 is like what we have to reduce against 50% by, but that's kind of, com it's like. We you say, yeah, it just doesn't speak well. It's fine yep, in the slide. Yeah. yeah. Um, Compared to 2010, I guess it's what. Right. But, and that makes but sense, but it doesn't. Need to say it again though. Yeah. It's written there. Right. The so, yeah. Correct. And you can point it out if, if it's can, but I think that because you're saying in 2014 and then by it, anyway, yeah, it's a lot got of data. Yeah. Um, through data that the city collects every two years, we know that we are seeing measurable progress, but we still have a ways to go to meet the goals 
that I mentioned on the previous slides um, that I didn't mention any goals on the previous slides. Well, the goals is um, it's right here. Oh, definition. Oh, yeah. We just did definition. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's because I this used to be a separate slide. So, but Got we have ways to meet the goals. Period. Yes. We still have. It's not a ways. It's we have a way to go to meet the goals. A way. Okay. To okay. meet our adopted goals. Yeah. Um. All right. A comment on the slide. I wonder if it would be better if it said lower uh, greenhouse gas emissions first and then reduce fossil fuel. It we just seems the order is backwards. Oh, because of the order on the slide? Yeah. Well, the order on the slide is fossil fuels is first. Right. But the point of fossil fuels is to reduce overall emissions. And I can't fuels, change that graphic. Yeah. I would leave it as it is. It's in the plan. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, we're stealing graphics. We're not making them. You're going to have to go to city <laughs> council to change that one. I hear you. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. I know this one's going to be a little bit long, but we're we're getting through it. I'm yeah. trying to make a pause fine. when you stop. Okay, oh, go. thank you. Oh, good. All right. To meet these goals, the city has developed a climate action plan, which included, which includes. Uh huh. Well, included. no, it's which. Uh, it the, has developed, and then it includes to go well, with. Well, no, because it included community develop involvement when it was developed. Like. Yes. Okay. Maybe I could say, um, with the support of many community stakeholders yeah it needs to be like before like the city in conjunction with a with a lot of community members or however oh. you want to say it develop a climate action plan how about to meet these goals the city developed a climate action plan with the support of many community stakeholders sounds good Works for me okay period and the plan yeah you can keep going and the plan was approved by city council in 2020. Many of the actions included in the plan will help us meet our climate goals of reducing fossil fuel use, sorry, and lowering our greenhouse gas emissions. These actions may also benefit you personally as well as our community in adapting to climate change. Okay. The city and many local partners are working hard to implement the plan. Many actions have been completed and most are either ongoing or in progress. Isn't that the same thing? It's not. Um, okay. It has been <laughs> a struggle since before we went to city council. I, If you guys have a different idea of how to say it. So ongoing means it's like their, their goals, their actions that have already like been implemented, but they're going to continue to be, like they're never going to be completed because those programs will always be ongoing yeah. so i think I mean, it's a in progress and ongoing it sounds like the same thing yeah but they're not okay mm -hmm. do you understand the difference i think if we say it it's that's the way that's the way the report is set up and if if, it, if people have questions i think we can answer the question the way danielle did ongoing means something that even though it's underway and is, is going on, it's gonna continue on. Whereas some of the things that are in progress are have been started, but they will at some point be completed. Yep. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Yep, yep. Um, so well, maybe a way to state it is there are either projects that are ongoing or process, the projects that are in the process of being implemented. Sure. Does that do it? Yeah, so many actions have been completed and um, many actions have already been completed, period. Many other actions are either projects that are ongoing or in the process of being implemented. That seems a little better. Yeah. But you're not saying whether those are ongoing or not. I don't know if that matters. Yeah, well, no, many are 
I mean, many other actions are programs. Or many, are... many actions have been completed, period. Most others are either in progress or will continue to be ongoing. No. 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 Could, would it be possible to just explain it, saying like some are ongoing, meaning this, and some are in progress? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so it could be, can you guys see my screen just so we can kind of work? Many actions have already been completed, period. Most others are programs that are ongoing or projects that are in progress, but will be completed um, at, I don't know. In the future, at some point. At some point in the I guess have given communicating about what's been completed and what hasn't is what people care about. Does it matter? I'm just throwing it out there. Does it matter if we distinguish between ongoing or in progress? Yeah, we could just say like, I mean, truly. Yeah, I, I just kind yeah, of we don't, don't need to get into the weeds of it. Yeah. That's kind of how I'm feeling. Like if I was listening, I'd be like, what's the difference between in progress? And then I'd be like, <laughs> eh. Because we're not going to go through it point by point, you know, which right. are which. So, yeah. What about this? Many actions have already completed, been completed or are ongoing, period. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, now I have to go back to where I was. I have to, you took over my screen. You could just read my screen if you want. Um, I could, <laughs> but you have to change the slide. Well, you're not on the city. You, you didn't finish this one yet. <laughs> you're right here. <laughs> I have it, but I'm I'm on the first slide. That's all I can okay. see. Oh, you can't see my note? No. no. Mm -mm. Oh. You have to choose it. You, right now, you've chosen the first slide on the left. Yeah. Oh, I shared the wrong screen. Sorry. This is so confusing, you guys. I'm sorry. Here we go. Like I said, when I got in, technology is a friend, <laughs> ah, it's not. We're doing the best we can. <laughs> okay, here you go. Okay. Overall. Right. <laughs> Overall, the plan is currently 61% implemented. On the city's website, you can find an impl implementation plan that has a status update on each of the actions listed in the cap. To One understand quick how point, you, I think we want to, you want to be sure and use CAP um, for climate yeah. action plan early. So yeah. CAP to like somewhere that says or CAP, like climate action plan or CAP, oh. like when we first introduced it. Right. That's a good point. Right. Um, we need to make sure we lift that right up. Here. So. And in the speaker notes or CAP. Oh. Right. Yep. yep. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay. So in so do you want to refer to CAP 2.0 here? Sure. I, I, I hate acronyms. I'm gonna spell it out. Climate action plan is short enough. Okay. Then here we go. Okay. Ooh. Are we good? I love the buckets. Okay. To understand how Eugene tackles greenhouse gas emissions, let's imagine Eugene's greenhouse gas em emissions. Um <laughs> <laughs> Let's imagine them divided into three buckets. Yeah, there you go. The biggest bucket holds emissions from cars and trucks. Can it do, do it have to say our? Because yep. I and kind of feel like transportation, like cars and trucks. Thank you. Because it sounds like elementary school otherwise. The um, second bucket represents buildings or, yeah. Represents buildings. All the energy used to power them, like natural gas and electricity. Inc yeah. Oh, okay. The last bucket holds waste, food scraps, oh. trash, and even leaky refrigerators. Um, okay. I know that's 
that's us always such a wonky one i mean refrigerant it's, it's refrigerant leaking and from refrigerant leakage i mean that i mean if we want to put it on there I mean, it's it, just because it's on the slide doesn't mean you have to say it out loud. I, know. You can't I don't imagine think it's should. a very big thing. thing. Well, it's particularly a potent one, so I think listening and saying it's worth it. I mean, it is, but the majority, like the big bucket of that stuff, is coming from food waste and organic <laughs> trash. Also, it's on the slide. I think we should include it. Okay, I think if it just says and refrigerants. Yeah. It could just be and refrigerants, honestly, because if they're not disposed of, well, it's hard to dispose of them. Properly. Well, and refrigerants come from, it's not just from fridges, like your kitchen fridge. It's from right. like air conditioners, air conditioners. And like most of refrigerant leakage is actually coming from like commercial warehouse, like refrigeration. So yeah, it seems like, like leaky fridges that's kind of yeah. represented. So let's just say refrigerants. I don't. Um, are going to ask about it and if somebody wants to know where they come from that's i mean the, you're, you're exactly right it's more air conditioners and commercial situations all right through con <laughs> through concrete actions under these buckets um i don't honestly understand what that means <laughs> um through, yeah yeah what do i mean what does that mean concrete actions under these buckets well oh i see what it's saying it's that's sort of how cap 2.0 has split up the action so like organized into these gr these groups three concrete through concrete actions organized into uh, what about under, what's uh, the difference between concrete actions and just regular actions as uh, okay. i mean um i think what if we say like Cap 2.0 ensures the comprehensive by identifying actions that address each of these different buckets or sources of emissions. Oh, I like sources of emission again there. Yeah. Three different sources of emissions. Yeah, that seems good. That makes sense to me. Yeah. Uh, these three different sources. Okay. All right. That's true. Um, I can, yeah, I can clean up this stuff too. What else did we say? Um, I mean, it, um, refrigerators that are not um, disposed of correctly, but I think. That's why you're but like you're supposed to not put them in the dump. You're supposed to give them to yeah the appropriate people. Okay. Okay. Cool. Next slide. <laughs> yes. Moving on. <laughs> I'm going to start by talking about the first bucket of emissions. Can we? Okay. I'm not. Can we say like first? I'm going to talk about transportation emissions the first bucket transportation emissions yep or i'm going to address the first bucket of something like that mm -hmm. okay. that sounds good gas and we i don't think you have to have driving gas and diesel cars and trucks produce over half of our emissions that's a lot of pollution. <laughs> the city has a has sorry, has a few planning efforts underway to reduce these, including the transportation systems plan. Should that be yeah, that's what I was thinking. Envision Eugene and Move Huge. That's wrong. Oh, it's not Move Huge isn't a plan. That was just like a short duration engagement plan mm. that's not like um an official plan. Okay. <laughs> So, okay, I like that I'm catching up and you're changing it right as I'm speaking. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fun. Um, the Transportation Systems Plan, Envision Eugene, and the Electric Vehicle Strategy. Um, EWEB has an electric vehicle car share program. 
Okay, that just seems like a non sequitur. You can read more about these plans and how to get involved on the resource that, page. No, we, that resource page has not been developed. So I'm gonna, I mean, maybe you can read more about these plans on the city's website, period. Yeah. Can we put like, in addition, eWeb has an electric vehicle car share program? Yeah. And, and I also lots of- I think okay. we should acknowledge it's pilot. Otherwise, people are going to say, how do I get in? I think yeah. that's important. And I think if we're going to mention eWeb, and we could also mention their um, different EV incentives, like some line yeah. about that. Because it isn't that they just offer that. They offer right. several different things, battery storage incentives, all kinds of stuff. But this is transportation. so. Well, we'll see where it comes back later. Um, I might put that you have incentives and yeah okay Ooh, that's good okay they have the incentive for a charger installation but i don't know if you want to put that on there too much detail come on yeah yeah um okay you can read more about these plans on the city's website there are many ways you can help. Consider walking, rolling, or taking transit, public transit. Yep. Got it. For <laughs> short, can we get rid of your, like, short trips? For just, short trips. For some, I don't, I think we should just not say oh. just period after transit. Yep, yep, you're right. Hmm. Next time you purchase a vehicle, consider an all electric one. I'm not excited about that, but I'm not gonna. The market for EVs is rapidly expanding and the city is planning to expand publicly available EV charging infrastructure. Is that true? <laughs> you could just read to expand EV parking infrastructure. Yes, I agree, because it has what expanded twice. Oh, um, I need to expand uh, EV charging infrastructure. So we would lose publicly available. That's kind of an assumption. Yeah. If the city's doing it, they're publicly available. Maybe we say the market for EVs is rapidly growing and the city yes. is planning to expand EV charging infrastructure. Yes. Right. They're. Um, that's. That's, That's a big thing price. right there. Get rid of That's that? <clears throat> yes. Because it's not necessarily true in all instances, no. too. Um, okay, we already talked about that. The lots of rebates and incentives. Hmm. I think rather, because there are more webs other than either, we just said that there are lots of rebates and incentives, period. Period, you're right. Because there are federal breaks, state breaks. <clears throat> Can we put, there are many federal and state rebates and incentives? Yeah, if we, if we either trim it or we make it inclusive. Federal, state, and e -way. In general, this paragraph is long and it's yeah. very EV centric, which could be, could raise, uh, like people always have a lot of um, criticism of EVs. So I don't want to, spend like a whole slide talking sure. about sure i'm just kind of rolling um, with what was there you know i know what I, mean? what I know i just wonder like can we just get rid of some stuff like maybe we could get rid of the benefits of evs i mean i think that's that whole last sentence yeah take that sentence out tighten it okay. yeah um is there so that being said do we want to I mean, we're not really talking about at all what the city's efforts are, except we mention, because um, it says city efforts, trans we just say them, but we don't say anything oh. about them. Uh, because we might want to include in, you know, something about assuring um, safer transportation for bikes and pedestrians. Right, certainly exactly part of the planning 
that's sort of what the transportation systems plan goal is. So it might be good to say that. Um, In the narrative, just say something so, about it, you know, pay for walking and biking. Like if there's just a little blurb, like after each thing that sort of gives you a gist of what they are without too yep, much yep. detail. Mm -hmm. And I mean, and if we want to get rid of that whole, I mean, I'm not saying we do, but if we need to get rid of that whole last sentence about market for EVs and stuff like that, I don't know if that, if we need yeah. that whole last part I or like, not. Um... I feel like the e-web incentives up here could go away. And the, I mean, do you guys want to talk about the EV car share pilot program? That could also go under the what you can do is like do the EV car share pilot. It is open to the public. Um, well, again, it's that thing. If the public has no sense that they're available, they don't even need to look. So I would favor leaving it in. Um, okay, I can kind of wordsmith this. Um, well, I'm not gonna have time to do this any other time than now. So <laughs> making what is I don't what is the envision Eugene comprehensive plan? Dennis, do you know like one pithy sentence? Isn't it to like manage urban growth? Um, yeah, that's probably, you know, that, that's a good short version. Sustainable urban growth. <clears throat> and the electrical vehicle strategy to increase adoption and accessibility of electric vehicles, period. Um, what? And then I'm going to move the EV stuff down here. Okay. And I have a question about the sentence where we say, um, I like having the question, the sentence about eWeb, but then after that, we say you can read more about these plans on the city's website. Is eWeb on the city's website? Not no, really. I'm going to move the eWeb stuff to mm -hmm. what you can do. Okay. Um, as well as through eWeb. You have also has an electric vehicle car share pilot program. Okay. That seems good. It flows a lot better now. Yeah. I just okay. want to call your attention to the time. It's already a quarter to. All right. Okay, let's let's cruise through. And okay. Lily, be sure you chime in. You probably look at more PowerPoints than anyone in on this <laughs> right now. Okay. Buildings? Okay, sorry. Um buildings is the next big bucket of emissions, accounting for over thirty percent. The majority of this Maybe just the next big bucket accounting for over 30% of our emissions. How's that? Yep. So you get rid of the first emissions. Oh, yeah. You got it. Sounds good. The majority of this pollution comes from burning natural gas, which is mostly methane. I'm going to get rid of that sentence. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. One way the city is addressing... Oh. Good. Oh, okay. Yep. One way the city is addressing building emissions is through efficiency measures during renovations of city buildings. For example, when the Echo Hollow pool was renovated, the facility switched from gas to an efficient electric heating system, among other upgrades. This helped to reduce the building's carbon emissions. For residential homes, the city offers a voluntary program to help you get an energy audit. Um. Uh, yeah, that's weird. Offers. Um. How about a offers program. energy audit? Yeah. A program to an energy audit program. Yeah. 
to help you understand and prioritize um, efficiency upgrades or home may need. That sounds good. For residential homes, the city offers an energy audit program to help you better understand and prioritize efficiency, the efficiency upgrades your home may need. Mm -hmm. Saving energy also saves you money. EWIB and the Energy Trust of Oregon offer incentives and support to make your home more efficient and more electric. For example, you can get money from EWEB to improve your home insulation. Um, can we also have install a heat pump or install a heat pump? Um, or in Wait, where is that? You can get money from two minutes? It says you, oh. for example, you can get money from yeah. EWEB. It should say it should say you may be able to, because a lot of those are all income based. So just saying that you can get money is not necessarily or true. Money from to improve your insul home's insulation or install a heat pump, which also air conditions to keep your home cool. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I can't see the bottom. Oh. Can you Thanks. <laughs> One helpful resource is the Energy Star program. Here you'll get resources and support with a focus on the same six big, hold on. I don't understand the sentence. This, I think this paragraph is kind of confusing. I think we could just. Um, Could we just I go to the last sentence and say, um, consumers can also refer to products with the energy star program i don't uh, it's sort of like or do you i think her point here is that like these are the six big impact areas to focus on and so i think we should almost like lead with that at the beginning yeah. of the of what you can do so um okay for residential homes period um the six big impact areas da 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 so the six big impact areas to focus on include heating and cooling with heat pumps, a heat pump water, your thermostat, insulation windows, make your home electric vehicle. Period. Um, the city offers an energy audit program to you no, um, your home may need. And then we can just get rid of this last sentence. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> You guys like that yeah okay and then i honestly think we could almost get we could get this like give you money you may be eligible for money through eweb and energy trust of oregon How to make your home more efficient and more electric period and then we could get rid of this yeah, yeah. Can can you, since you just saving energy also saves you money, you may be eligible for incentives through eWeb? Oh, yeah. For incentives and rebates. And, and honestly, there's there's like, there's more than just eWeb. There's eWeb, ETO, there's the state, and there's the federal. So, like, um, th how about through utilities, state, and federal? Um, Horses. Sources, yeah. Federal programs to make your home more efficient and more electric. Okay. Good. Nice. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, wait, it'll be so beholden to you. All right. I know. <laughs> the last bucket is waste. Much of these Planet warming gases come from rotting food. Okay. I was um, just saying greenhouse gases, maybe? Or just, yeah. Um, not these, though, and not planet warming. Rotting food is a big source of greenhouse gas emissions. Emissions, period. When food and organic matter go to the landfill, they rot, releasing methane. Mm -hmm. Can we put decompose releasing methane or is that too heady? No, that's fine. 
because we already said rot. So yeah. Okay. How about other organic matter? Because yard waste, can we put like food and other organic matter such as like yard waste? Because that's another big, like people that don't put it in the compost bin or you know what I mean? They put it in the garbage. Yep. Go to the landfill, period. They decompose releasing methane. When they decompose, they will, wait, what? When food and other go, oh, yeah. no, organic right. matter, okay. like yard waste, go into the landfill, they decompose, releasing methane. Yep. Okay. The city has a waste prevention program that licenses the haulers who pick up waste, including recycling and compost. Um, and also helps to coordinate a composting program. For, hold on. The city has a waste prevention program that licenses the haulers who pick up waste. That doesn't make sense, the sentence. Um, As a waste pre prevention program, licensing haulers to pick up waste, including recycling and compost, and also helps to coordinate. Do you see what I mean? No. What do you want it to be? No, I mean, I think... I think you're fixing it. Okay. Yeah, that seems good. Okay. You can okay. help stop, reduce. Okay. <laughs> you can help stop, reduce pollution. By composting. Okay. You can help stop or reduce. Um, you can reduce, help reduce pollution. Reduce. You can re I think just reduce. Re no. I don't know if you have to help. Um, by composting uneaten food. I think we should say food scraps. Because that's how they say it. <clears throat> yep. Trying not to waste food. That's preachy. Um, I don't what know. Is? And trying not to waste food in the first place. Yeah. <laughs> like a stinky thing to say. <laughs> like, I know. By calling I, it and preventing food waste, maybe? I don't know. Let's just stop it after food scraps. Yeah. That's the message are... is compost. So Right. And I, I think that's something that we're really pushing too yep. in the food waste committee. But okay, do we need to put now? Yeah. I don't understand yep. this emphasis on now. Nope. Yep, get rid of it. And any uneaten food and food scraps into your curbside yard waste bin. There you go. And then the rest. I, yeah. So can I, my opinion here was to like, honestly get rid of all of this. Um, and take this picture because this feels kind of out of nowhere in a way like to suddenly have this huge slide take parts of this slide and put it um right here instead I think of that would, I think that either you put the whole thing there because that doesn't that graphic is okay but it doesn't really tell you anything this one this Garbage and recycling. Yeah, I mean. The boy, I know. I mean, it was just a picture. You're sure. But yeah, I think we could take like this part of it and maybe like this, you know, and put it on the prior page. But and then instead of. Um, and then it could kind of be consolidated into this slide. Does that sound good? Or. Yeah, maybe. I, mean, I actually how are, how are people's day in terms of time yeah i had a super busy day two o'clock i'm okay to hang in here but where are wait, others at wait like lily what about you i have to go before 2 30 since i have a few tests to take okay okay so i, I can't go any later we're, than 2 30 either okay okay then we're, we're proposing to extend it to 2 30 
Okay. okay. Let's roll. All right. So what were you going to say, Jan? I feel like you were going to say something about I'm, that. I'm pretty jammed up for time, but that's okay. I'll do what I can. I was going to say, I think the the photograph in the love food not waste is a, is actually kind of a good one because it shows oh, a, yeah, a that's counter, true. countertop container and dumping it into the so i agree that sort of the colors and everything don't match so i think if you want to put them on the a, you know slide that matches the other ones better i but i think that that's not a bad photograph so i like that if, it has the qr code as well okay so we're in favor of meeting that's keeping this that's fine let's just keep it then okay. um should we get back to this one then? Should we get rid of any of this content? Like, yes. Okay yeah. Simplify. Yeah. Okay. In the next slide. The content is there in the next slide. Next slide. Um, okay. Um. One area that, that the commission has decided to focus its, its energy this on this year has been increasing awareness about food waste prevention. We wanted to take this opportunity to remind you that food scraps can be put in your yard to breathe in. You can put all types of food scraps, including vegetable scraps and coffee grounds, as well as meat, bones, baked goods, and dairy products into the yard waste bin. So we're repeating a little bit from the last one. Well, right, but we said it's a priority for the commission this year. So yeah. I think repetition well, is good. Yeah. I mean, going back to this one is like, we might, we, in the notes that you read, Devin, we don't actually talk about like buying used, fixing things, like stuff like that could be called out a little bit better here. Um, So if we put that down below and the whole next slide is about composting food scraps. So we put that line on the next slide. Right. That's what I was thinking too. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so this would go. Yeah, this would go on the next slide. It's I'm pretty much take... kind of already there. Yeah. It... Okay. And so here, um, you can buy used goods instead of new. Make sure to properly dispose of refrigerators. <laughs> so random. Mm -hmm. And re <laughs> it is random. <laughs> what about batteries and <laughs> i know i mean there's a whole list it's it's maybe maybe it's more like make sure to properly dispose of your waste like at the transfer station or th um maybe just say for example batteries and refrigerants or something like a, just as an example rather than make you know you can and maybe and broken and um appliances period and like i could include the uh lane county waste wise is a good one um is a, a useful resource if you aren't sure useful where resource, is a useful resource period for to learn where to take your trash or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Does that look better? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then the next, and then we talked about the next slide. Yep. I'm just going to reorder these, dispose of waste. Yep. Okay. We heard what you said. You've got this window of time to work on it. You're not going to get back to it. So I know. Take a moment. <laughs> far more it. efficient. Use. There we go. And ours. Cool. Okay. Sounds good. So, this one's done. 
And the next one's pretty well done. If possible, you know, trying to make the color matches, but that's just if time allows. Okay. Well, I think I could just so. do that real quick. I can, because I think, oh man. Can you just insert it on a new slide that has your yeah, um, style? Let me see if I can do that real quick. So. Um, oh, I think what you did. I think, wait, I think I have a better idea. Um, insert shape. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to make it blue instead of yellow. And I'll fill it gray and then send it back. There we go. Is that better? And then maybe make this white? Yes, that's good. Yeah, that works. Okay. That looks great. <clears throat> okay, cool. All right. And you already read through this one, Devin. Yep. So I think there we go. go to the next. All right. If you're feeling concerned about climate change, you may be interesting. You may be interested in sharing your concerns with the Eugene Sustainability Commission. As I mentioned earlier, we're members of the public who can help be your voice within the city and to city council. And there are a number of ways um, you can get involved. Okay, sorry. Our meetings are always, it's, it just doesn't, it's hard to read it to make sense, but it doesn't mean it can't be done. It's just a little fiddly sentence. Our meetings are always open to the public. You can attend our meetings to learn about local climate project, local climate projects. You can give public comment during the public comment period at the beginning of each me meeting you can message us through our online platform can there can this be simplified um like it's there are many ways you can get involved such as attending our meeting our public our meetings are you know open public our open public meetings you can give public comment and or you could message us online or something like that yep um, if that makes Devin, sense, that, to everyone. That up above that you found awkward. I don't know if we need to do as I mentioned earlier. We can go. We are members of the public. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I felt this felt weird that we are members of the public. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we we may, we could just get. We can help be your voice within the city and to city council. Okay. I like that better. Okay. <clears throat> we also Trim endorse. Is... Oh. Yep. Are you did Dennis? Did you say something? No, just you oh. know. Okay. I'm sorry. We also endorse events or projects by providing small grants to help support activities that are consistent with the commission's purpose. You can apply for funding up to $1,000 for projects or events that are sustainability focused. If you're interested in joining the commission in the future, please reach out to your city councilor. I think just if you're interested in joining the commission, reach out to your city councilor. Is that right though? Like reach out? To I don't know. We, we hope councilors respond. I, I mean, you know, some people really like in the bushes, take the bushes, we send people to councilors. I mean, I'm hesitant to put staff would like be able to coach them through the process. Yeah. Well, I think if you guys are willing to be that, I think reaching out to city sustainability staff would be better. Okay. Yeah. Please visit our website to find out more about us or to connect. Um, okay. So, <laughs> it's an okay. awkward transition there. I know. I know. We could get rid of that whole first line. We came here to <laughs> hear a little bit about what the city is doing <laughs> and what actions you can take, but also to let you know that the S Sustainability Commission exists. We'd like to take advantage of the time we have left to ask you a few questions so we can better understand what is important to you. 
all these so's. Our first question is, what sustainable issues are you concerned about? Um, yeah, can you just make that yep. <laughs> second? <laughs> Just like first, what sustainability issues are you concerned about? Second, um, oh. how can the S Sustainability Commission engage with people who live in your neighborhood? I mean, I don't know. Like that? Um, yeah. yeah, just like what it says on the yeah. slide. Engage with yeah. the people who live in your neighborhoods. Okay. Um, and if we want to make that, yeah, that's good. I mean, I kind of like having this. What's one thing you're thinking yeah. about doing? And last, okay, okay, go. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I mean, that's okay. that's fine. No, no, that's fine. This what's last one thing you're thinking kind of about doing? It does. Um. And, and it also doesn't have to be this, but I was thinking it'd be nice to ask, like, I don't really want to just ask, like, what are you doing? Because I feel like that's just going to be an obnoxious question where you're going to get people who are, like, starting to brag about all the ways. But it would be interesting to know, like, what are they considering doing? And, like, how can we help them take that step? Yeah. So it's a little more future oriented and like behavior change oriented rather than just like what people are already doing. But I, I couldn't think of quite, I ran out of time and I couldn't think of quite the best way to phrase it. We, we include something we recognize that different people are in a process of greening their lives. Um, what are the next steps you um, individually oh, yeah. would like to take? A disclaimer like that. We recognize people that are different pace, places in the process of greening your lifestyle. What are next steps? what yeah repeat that again what is the next step for you or something you know what, what steps are you hoping to take in the near future but first steps or additional steps i like that a lot it just seems so much more inclusive yeah because there's all this like there's either the bragging or the guilt trip <laughs> yep, i know <laughs> And this allows, this is accessible for everyone. It's like everyone has a next step to take, whether it's your first step or your hundredth step. But like, that's what we want to know. Like, what's the next step for you? What resources might help you make that change? Okay. And then you'll change it on the slide. Yeah, let me just do that now. Um, just cut and paste it in. Yeah. Um. Okay, cool. And then um, one last note, I'm still fine tuning the language, but I wanna have a talking point for whoever the speakers end up being that's like, basically we don't really want commissioners answering questions about like, I mean, there's gonna be questions all over the map. Like tell us more about like why you're doing that, that sidewalk reconstruction on 8th and High right. or like, tell me what's in the transportation system plan and like why did the city um rescind the ordinance like we don't really want commissioners answering those questions because um it could get you like you might share the wrong answer and it could just create more problems so right. the best response is just like i'm still going to fine tune that language but something along the lines of like uh, you know, I'm here as a volunteer. I'm not a sit member. I'm not a staff member for the city of Eugene, and I can't answer that question, but I'm happy to take that question back to the city or, or like share your concern with the city, like something like that. So right. somewhere, seems... I would add somewhere in there, we're an advisory body, but we're not a policy body. I think that's an important yeah. one to make people understand that, you know, policy authority exists within the council um, and implementation of those policies are done by staff. We're an advisory body. We don't do either of those things. Yeah. I kind of feel like that should be somewhere in a slide about who we are, that we're an advisor. I mean, it is. where is I that? Is the beginning. Is um, it? 
We are a group of community volunteers. To advise on topics related to staying. Yeah. Okay. So we can just. Yeah. 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 I wanted to be sure that was somewhere. Yeah. Um, I'll work certain, on that yeah. note like later. So. Okay. Yeah. Because the yeah. answer for us to give if people start on specific questions. It's more like some of those, you know, italics kinds of background for us to yeah, know exactly. that that's the answer to those questions. Well, what about this? Well, we're advisory, you yep. know, council right. policy, that implements that policy. But even, but even like, I don't, like it would, a commission member who's up there giving a presentation can't really say like, yes, I agree with you. I think the city should do that X, Y, Z. Like correct, because you can't take that stance without having. When we're representing the commission, we're representing the commission ourselves. We I can't. Or something. Good. Okay. Ooh. Or I couldn't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it was weird. I don't know what was going on. You're, you were waving your arms around, but I couldn't hear what you were saying. <laughs> oh, I just said, I'll create a talking point to give you guys an out okay. when you get a question like that. Okay, good. <laughs> right. Not um, to interrupt, but I have to be at, at school at 2.30 to take Oh, okay. Break. That's fine. You can go. <laughs> yeah. um, we are going to talk about tabling, though, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I think we lost Jan too. Well, <clears throat> maybe we should just schedule another meeting for like two weeks from now. To talk about tabling? I think that's fine because I don't think there's there's not going to be tabling per se. There there will be um, hopefully the NLC presentation on the 23rd that we're going to ask for board, everybody, you know, anyone who wants to volunteer from the whole board. Um, but that's not really tabling. We can bring our compost stickers and call it good. I don't, I don't feel like we have to really, we don't need to do a survey. No. We don't know or any of that no. when it's just the NLC, um, or, or truly like at a non-general meeting, uh, neighborhood association meeting. I don't think we have to worry too much about tabling. So I think we need to think about tabling for big events coming up, um, especially in the summer. Well, I think, yeah, I think it would be good to schedule a meeting and at that meeting we need to develop a list of events like a calendar of events that we want to work like focus on this summer and then what supplies are needed right yeah Jan so, wanted so, the so <laughs> i think and particularly asked for that resource addition that we do need another meeting and i think two weeks out is a good place to start what about um the day after this presentation, like Wednesday the 24th or something like that. Mm, where where we I? could kind of debrief the presentation. I'm definitely unavailable then. I, I'm i going to be at a conference. So. Okay. Um, what, Lily, when why do you tell us what dates are work for you? Oh, that's, my schedule really varies. You have to go, huh? Yeah. I can send my yeah. if you okay. send out. So yeah, Lily, why don't you? Um, well, Dennis, I'll let you. Why don't you just kick off an email of like what works like between the first last week of April, first week of May. Shoot for that. Well, do we want one more before that event on the twenty third? I I don't. A week from. I don't think it's necessary. There's a possibility while we're in the room together. We've got a commission meeting in the evening, but do we want to try this time in the afternoon? Um, sounds like Lily needs to look at her calendar and she really has to go. So let's figure yeah. out this date on email. All right. Okay. Okay. Sure. Thank um, you, Lily. Well, Devin and Dennis, real quick, let's just, um, I think it would be good if someone from this committee was at the presentation, like at least one person. So I don't, I don't know if Jan, like, does Jan not want to, or she was only willing to if no one else did? I, 
I don't know. Do the presentation. Are you talking about the presentation on the 23rd? Yeah. For the neighborhood groups, right? Yeah. That's what NLC is. I was like filling in the, the letters. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, uh, it's just been, sure. I apologize to you, Dennis, too, because there's just been a lot of buildup to this particular moment <laughs> without a lot of direction in some ways, except Danielle, you know, and, and so it's great to have you here and bear with us getting used to like the new, the new program. So, so I'm totally available to do the NLC, but I would like definitely somebody else to come or if, if there are other board members that want to do it that aren't me, that's good I too. Like, on the 23rd? What's the timing on that meeting on the 23rd? Uh, seven. I think Attention it's, time. yeah, it's at 7 p.m. Are we first on the agenda or second? I have no idea what the agenda is. Did we get an email about the agenda? No. From I, I'd, I'd really like to be able to watch this because I, I just want to see how it goes. But so, yeah, I'll, I'll talk to Jan. It'd be good to get details on like what the. She, yeah, if somebody has details now, it's Jan because she reached out to Rini okay. and sort of for reasons I don't need to go into. It was good that that happened because um, okay. things are loosey goosey over there. Okay. I'm, well, I'm possibility oh. that I have a a flexible thing on that Tuesday evening that I could miss if you need somebody you want somebody to be there besides you. If Jan can't do it, I can be there. Okay. Well, the other thing we're going to do is ask the whole board. I mean, right. not sorry, commission, um, because honestly, two people who aren't on this committee could do it. I mean. You know, and I would be really happy to see some board. God, I keep saying that. I had a lot of board work yesterday. I apologize um, on the commission to step up and maybe do some of those things that, like, people yeah. who aren't Mitra, um, because she's working her ass off. Um, I agree. I think if it was like one person from this committee and one person from the rest of the commission, that would be ideal. That's, I think so too. Yeah. Let's push for that. But Dennis, it sounds like Dennis and Jan can be back up. Um, so, okay, cool. Well, um, I feel like we're in a good place. And the, but yeah, I, I like the mayor wants this, this commission. You're frozen. We lost. Mm -mm. You're gonna need to refresh. Shoot. I'll text her. Well, we both oh, lost there her. There you are. There she moved. Is it, you back. is it better if I stop my internet? Can you hear me now? Yeah, we hear you now. Okay. I just turned my video yeah. off. Um okay, no. yeah, I let's let's really try to get um let like at the next meeting, let's start with like the tabling conversation because um yeah. Absolutely. Like that that really needs to happen before June. Yep. And um, for example, like last night at the my the SEN Neighborhood Association meeting, they voted for the date for the picnic. So that's already yep. set in September. So um, some of those things are already going to start happening at the Neighborhood Association level. And let's, I know, I don't know if Dennis received it, but Dennis, at one point early on, I made a table spreadsheet. Well, it's more of a table, but it lists like, I went through all of the neighborhood association meeting times um, and how like, and, and dates, like when they meet. Um, so really all we need to do, and Jan and I have talked about this a lot of times, um, is just like pick three and then call them or email them. And, you know, it's really laid out already. So, um, yeah, send me that. yeah, I haven't seen it. Danielle, do you have that anywhere easy or do um, I have it easier? It's probably buried in my email somewhere. All right. Let me look right here and see if I can. I think I have it in my sustainability commission file. Hold on. Bylaws, co-chair, do to do food waste. Um,
Let me see if this is, I think I made it into a PDF. I did. Look at me. I was so productive. All right. Um, where is, oh, all right. And I will have, wait. Dennis. Wait a minute. Like I said, that's why I said, Jan, when Jan asked me if I would, you know, step into this facilitation, I said, yeah, lots of people doing good work. So yeah. I'm going to just resend it to everyone. Great. Willie, I'll VCC myself. Um, yeah, because it, I don't know what was going on, but we couldn't really get this off the ground for some reason. And I don't, I'm not 100% sure why. So, all right. Well, I think. And not only do we have to pick, you know, three, but then like at a commission meeting, we have to find commissioners who can like do those. So Correct. it's almost right. like we need to identify five or six, maybe, or I don't know, maybe not, but like, it'd be nice to end up with like three events that each have two commissioners like tabling. So what I'm sending out is a list of meetings, not events. Okay. Oh. So this is like the name where to start, Got like it. the neighborhood associations that we want to reach out to, and we can reach out in multiple ways. We can say, we want to come and give this presentation at your meeting or and or we could say, and do you have any events coming up? And would you be interested in us tabling? Like there's like two, okay. two things. And then yep. we could just collect data, like dates and see what they have coming down. I mean, we already know if we want to, we could do Southeast Neighbors on September 7th or whatever it is. That's um, true. Right. So we just want to know what their future plans is, but we did create this. We could, we can go to these meetings and, and look at the list and think, you know, one of the things Dennis that we talked about was like Southeast is probably low hanging fruit, right? Fan is friendly area neighbors is probably low hanging fruit. Like who could we really reach out to that ha doesn't and know Bethel's about the sustainability been, commission? And Bethel has been very active doing work. So. Right. Yeah. So as we look at this table, maybe think about who's really going to benefit from our presentation in addition to um, just getting in and giving it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, because we could do it at the Southeast Neighbors, no problem. I just think they know about it, especially because I'm on it. <laughs> like, and we also like, what are the neighborhoods we want to target with like composting and like Ex you know, hearing from new voices that aren't on the commission. Like, I think we should get out into North Eugene and West Eugene and, um, yeah. Anyways, preaching to the choir. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Up, um, and Dennis, I think try to get the next meeting scheduled ASAP. I know it's like, if we don't do it now, it's going to be another month. So I'm yeah, pretty I'll available. Put a some notion. Sounds like okay. Lily might be the tight one, so. And me. Yeah. Um, I may just send her a note first and just say, what is your typical availability? We want to assure that you can attend and yeah. as far as possible, the rest of us will try to work around that. Sounds I'm good. like, not a Thursday. My schedules are often pretty flexible, so. That seems completely okay. good. And thank you for working hard to include her. She's it's midterms right now so She's she had incredible. to take a test and it's all stressful and there's no school friday so they're all freaking out <laughs> did, was she running at 2 30 to take a midterm that's i think yeah i think that's what she was <laughs> go to i'm like i'm so glad i'm not you i'll spend a moment sending her good luck <laughs> okay she'll be fine luck. she's a sophomore it's easy still <laughs> Okay. Well, bye, you guys. Uh, thank, thank you. you and thank you, Dennis. Thank you. I cannot thank you enough. <laughs> just, that, that's enough. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>